What's up guys, this is iTweets here, and today I'm going to be showing you a lock screen tweet called Forecast. So I just showed you guys iOS 7 lock screen weather, and some of you were saying that it was a little too complicated to get it all set up, having to go into iFile and change those uh, location, WO IDs, and everything on there. So this is going to be the tweak for you. It's extremely simple to set up. All you need to do is install it, and then it's going to use the weather from the very first weather location in your weather app. So if your first location is your current location, then this is going to show your current weather. So you can see in the background, it's just kind of like weatherboard. It has that uh, animated background that's going to show the actual live weather of that location set up on the first page of your weather app. Also, if we go to the lock screen here, you'll see that it's a very minimalistic look. You have the weather right here so it's cloudy and this is all cloudy up here you also have the degrees as well as the high and the low right here of 34 and 27 and if we swipe over to the left you'll see that you have that little widget that was right down the bottom left hand corner up here at the top and you have your daily forecast and you can swipe through so this is a 12 hour forecast right here and at the bottom you have a five day forecast so it's going to tell you the high the low the day as well as the weather right there now there's quite a few options that you actually have with forecast as well so if we go ahead and unlock and we go into the settings here we're going to go down here to forecast and open that up so right here is going to be all of your toggles here you have show current weather and darken current weather so if we do that you can see if we go to the lock screen we're not going to have the weather right down here and if we swipe over to the left then you still have that information right up there at the top so if you don't want it on your lock screen right there, then you can just keep it over here. Now, if we go back into the settings here, you can see you can show the forecast page, toggle that off. You can also darken the forecast if you want to do that. So darkening the current weather in the, the forecast right here is basically if you have a really bright uh, wallpaper. So it's going to darken it up so it's going to be a little bit easier to read. So let's go to the lock screen here once more. And you can see if we swipe over here, you're not going to get that forecast because we just disabled it. So we're going to go back here. We're going to toggle this back on both of these. And down here you have show on lock screen. So if you don't want the wallpaper to show on the lock screen, you can just toggle that off. Now you are going to have to respring if you do that. Also, you can toggle this off on the home screen and you can turn off animating wallpaper. So if we toggle this off on the lock screen and we toggle off animate wallpaper, then that's gonna be a huge battery saver. So let's go ahead and respring our device and we'll have the wallpaper on the home screen, but not on the lock screen. All right, so now you can see that we've resprung and we have our normal wallpaper right here in the background. And if we go to the home screen, you can see that we have our forecast background, but it's not animated so that's going to save some battery life right there it's just a uh, static wallpaper back there so a really cool tweak extremely simple very minimalistic as you can see right here it doesn't take up a whole lot of space on your lock screen and I think it looks really good now the other thing that's really awesome about this is the live weather animations going on in the background so depending on what the weather's like it's actually going to be reflected on the background and the lock screen as you can see right here so a really cool tweak, nothing to set up really, only 99 cents in Cydia. So I definitely recommend checking this out. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys, until next time, peace.